Hey, listen, thanks for agreeing to take care of Principesa while we're gone, Lois. It's our pleasure. She looks like a nice kitty. Uh, kitty? Lois, she is a purebred Persian. I can trace her lineage to the cats kept by Cleopatra. Just tell me what I need to do, Glenn. Well, first, she has a very active bowel. You can't be too generous with the baby wipes. Stroke front to back like you would on yourself. Otherwise, you're smashing feces into her genitals. Also, she's very skittish, so you have to touch her like this. I'm going to touch you now. Is that okay? See how I'm going? Slowly. Slowly. Oh, the mysteries you keep inside of you. Quagmire, come on, let's go! All right, I guess we're off. Hey, you guys, check out the look on Lois's face when I do this. Peter! Clean that up, you idiot! Love you! Boy, it'll be satisfying to finally slap the cuffs on Briggs once and for all. Hey, you ever just drive through a town and wonder, who the hell lives here? All the time. Look at this place. I mean, what, what's going on? There's an adult with a lemonade stand. That Chinese restaurant still has the sign from when it was a mechanic. I don't want to eat lo mein where they were just changing mufflers. There's an apartment above that Arby's with toys in the window. Someone has built a life up there. What a mess. I'm telling you, the Founding Fathers would be very disappointed in where their country ended up. Eh, it wasn't so perfect back then, either. And so I say unto you, sons of liberty, no longer will free men live under the yoke of giant predatory birds, shrieking, swooping down, stealing our livestock. What's going on in here? N nothing Uh, just belly aching about the British. Get back to warming those eggs. All right, this is the place. We gotta see if we can find Briggs's girl. Hey, we're looking for a stripper named Tanya. Is she here tonight? Yeah, she's working the champagne room. Follow me. Hey, Quagmire, you, uh, you ever been to Atlantic City before? Oh, once, about 20 years ago. Why? All right! All right! All right! All right! Hey, are you Tanya? Yeah, who are you? A guy who's looking for Bobby Briggs. Where is he? I don't know any Bobby Briggs, and even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. You're lying! Joe, let me handle this. I know how to communicate with strippers. All I need is one dance, and I'll know everything she knows. You free for a dance? Sure. I need information. I was molested by my dad. I know that. I need other information. I want you to tell me where I can find Bobby Briggs. Come on, you know I can't give out a client's personal information. All right, I'm gonna have to do the Vulcan V-meld. He lives at 2820 Ocean Boulevard across from the park. Apartment 2. a girl. Okay, now spit in your own mouth. <laughs> this is a cool place. Boy, it sure is nice having Mr. Quagmire's cat around. I gotta say, cats are so much better than dogs. Well, that's kind of a broad statement. It's true. Okay, show me one way in which cats are better than dogs. Well, okay. Uh, for one thing, they always land on their feet. Watch. So, big deal. Dogs do that, too. Here, go ahead. Do what you just did, but with me. Oh! Oh, my God! Oh! My neck! Oh! Oh, my God! Brian! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Call somebody! Oh! We need one of those boards they use for football players! Oh! Hey, what's going on? Nothing. I just figured out why cats are better than babies. Well, that's kind of a broad statement. 